The committee headed by a former World Bank executive and a one-time Minister of Education, Dr. Obi Ezekwizili, has 80 members chosen from within and outside the state. The members were picked based on their knowledge, character, excellence, diversity, integrity, inclusiveness and professionalism. By bringing those ideas of things that have worked, that are relevant to us, and then we're bringing um, the sense of how what it takes to build a coherent and cohesive voice of people with ideas, with solutions. That's what the transition team is all about, making sure that the rich diversity of knowledge that we have as Anambra people uh, will be optimized. Uh, we want to make sure that all citizens of Anambra state have a sense that this is government. Soludo, while inaugurating the committee, says he is optimistic that the committee will assist his incoming administration to hit the ground running. Times are hard and the immediate future will be challenging. And despite this, Ndia Nambra expects extraordinary outcomes and literally expect us to perform miracles. But we can't let them down and no excuses will do. We are determined to give it our all mobilizing the creative talents and resources of our people all over the world to create a befitting homeland. It is our collective dream and our collective assignment. Soludo says he has adopted an open governance model that will guarantee transparency and accountability. Given the pool of human resources in this transition committee, a number of people clearly expect an exemplary report very illuminating one. I am looking forward to using the report of the Transition Committee as the handbook to operate from day one. Chairman of the committee, Eze Quizili, highlights ground rules, agenda, terms of the reference of the Transition Committee and emphasizes that their, that their mission is to boost the effectiveness of governor-elect and the incoming government team in their quest to build a livable and prosperous smart ma mega city. Their capacity and their capability, and I have no doubt in my mind that uh, our result will bring to bear a very good governance in Anambra State. In the line, absolutely in line with the policy and the, and the uh, manifesto of His Excellency. It will bring the best of Igbo land to come together to celebrate that gift and focus how you use it. Every man of wisdom, reason and love for Adam Brastage and Igbo land will be joyous. I am very excited and happy. I feel privileged to be part of it and the precision and focus. Eze Quizili charged the committee members to be committed and dedicated to the tasks of building a great future for Anambra people. Jemima Boloko, Arise News.